Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not none, you know my day will go on. But y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, share our platform on all social media platforms, please, because let me tell you, we we creating content every day. But anyway, the most important thing is our Patreon channel because you're not going to get our full-length interviews after a while on our YouTube channel. It's only going to be on Patreon. So if you want to see these full-length interviews, go sign up for our subscription. You know, it's a little jingle jangle. It's, it ain't cost that much. So I know y'all got it now. Come on now. For great content, how much does that cost? Wow. Y'all got it. Man, we got a guy here today, y'all. This, this is the second time on the show, man. man this guy right here, man. Time. Listen, listen, this guy's family, man. Hey, man, right. anytime, I, I, anytime I come around or any city I go to, mm -hmm. uh, I, I have to check in with this guy right here. <laughs> the check in word is seriously something you don't need to use right now. They take that word seriously, don't uh -oh. they? Uh oh. <laughs> man, big court is in the building, man. Holding man. court. Man. Man. What's going on, family? What's man, going on, OG? I, man, I, I love, love your man. intro. Is, man, you, man I'm really intro. jealous. You know bro. what? And and let me shameless plug. <laughs> that song is available on all streaming, streaming platforms, platforms by Sully Folk You holding court theme man, song. Yeah. Bro, you wow. you you don't understand. It come on like a, I, I'm jealous, bro. Yeah. I'm looking it? on Tubi. Uh, I see it. Who sing it? Uh, that's Sully Folk You from Kansas City, Missouri. He produced it and he uh, rapped on it and sang on it. Wow. When yeah. I see it, I was like, dang, it's come on like a. Re I'm, you know, I'm cutting my yeah. my intros back. Cause, yeah, yeah. Because I, I want everything's keep... changing. Bro. <laughs> everything everything's changing. changing. <laughs> you know what? My apologies. Why go on, Mister? <laughs> Why Here we go, this Jamaican thing. Why? 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 Man, the show is going phenomenal. You okay. know, uh, the brand is growing uh, exponentially. Um, you know, like I know, it's some changes with the social media part of it, with the YouTube and the algorithm and, and just social media in general. There's a lot of shit that's shifting. Um, but in terms of the brand awareness and the growth of the podcast, man, it's to the point now to where I'm having celebrities and people calling me. You know, wow. messaging me. They want to yeah. come on the show, right. you know, which you, you know, yeah, you already hit that threshold <laughs> before me. But, um, you know, and that's, man, that's, that's a gratifying feeling when yeah. you create something that, that people respect and they love. And, you know, when I travel, you know, YouTube is a month. I don't know if y'all get this, but I'm sure, I'm sure you do, you know, just. He get it more and I'm than sure, I Oh, do. really? Yeah. Well, okay. Said. When you travel, people be like, hey, like He you. get it more than I do. Really? Okay. Yeah. I so, think the reason why, though. Mm -hmm. And I'm blessed with this part mm -hmm. is the fact that people have been very respectful. Uh -huh. So I'll walk past mm -hmm. and they see me, but they won't say anything to They'll me. Come They'll me. hurry up and run inside looking. Yeah. So they know that anywhere they see me, he's like exactly. right yeah. around exactly. the corner. So yeah. they're like, oh, yeah, I saw your wife outside. That's yeah. why I came and found yeah. you. So you know the power of this whole yeah. platform. Yeah. And, you know, it's always gratifying for me when I get people to come up to say, man, I love how you represent That's the cool. culture. Mm -hmm. I yeah. love, you know, how you do. And, and you know, my platform, as yours, you know, I created it, bro, to to really, you know, kind of contextualize the the culture as a whole and and make us look good. Be truthful, but make us look good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Humanize us. Yeah. You know, even when I've had, um, like, I just had P. Frank Williams on, and and you know, the, he did the show uh, Hip Hop Homicide. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, and yeah. so as we talk about the deceased rappers. You know, I, I'm always cognizant to use pictures of them smiling. Yeah, right. you know yeah, what I'm right. saying. So I, you know, I had Mob James on. He shed tears. I had Watch wow. Homie Quan on. He wow. shed tears. So you know, I try to humanize. How do you the culture. feel about that? Because like, okay, when I love that, I yeah. love when people come on and they're talking. <laughs> Look at he show over there shaking his yeah. head. When people are talking and they get emotional and they, sure. they they cry, I mm -hmm. love that because yeah. it makes people want to hear your story more For it makes sure. them want to know more but mm -hmm. he'll try to divert it because he don't want to see a man or a woman on, crying man. or something those, those are special thank moments, you tell you know him saying? for me like, please especially in our culture a lot of yeah. a lot of niggas it's need a breakthrough to cry. right a lot of, yeah it's a breakthrough okay. a lot of niggas he'll need change to cry. the subject he's like Listen, oh let me pull you out of this hey, now no, so, it, it, okay you want him to cry the whole dang thing not, not the whole not thing, the whole thing no. but for instance right watch homie Quine came on my show 
and he was talking about uh and I'm not sure if you know I'm sure that they people watching know who he is and he did a lot of content with um oh man the blood dude from KC from BPS uh rest in peace to uh Lil Bop okay. OG mm -hmm. Lil Bop mm -hmm. and uh you know he started tearing up because when he passed it reminded him of his father passing wow. away when he was 17 which you know that evoked emotion in me because mm -hmm. my mother passed away in 2010. So Ooh. now he up there crying before I know it, I'm crying. What? Yeah, you know what I mean? It gets serious. And then my co-host, producer Ken, he, he over there thinking about his grandma. He like, man, listen, y'all can have that. He turning around <laughs> from the camera like. <laughs> you See, know. I love that. Uh, but, yeah. but it was, you know, I've had some, some, some great moments. Mob James came on and, uh, you know, I felt like he needed that moment, you know, um, you know, just uh, it, you know, being transparent, it was therapeutic for him. You know, this is a gangster, straight up gangster, you know, and him, you know, talking about his upbringing and him being abused by his stepfather and him having a lot of regret with the things he's done in his life and reaching an age where, you know, he's become civilized, you know what I mean? Yeah, and so yeah. he's looking back on it and he's trying to atone for those things. But I, I love what I do, you know, mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and people see it, so. No, I think it's a great thing. I mean, yeah. something uh, Mr. Servo told me about is just us being mm -hmm. black media. Like, yeah, we got, we're sure. the voice for mm -hmm. our people to take it in a way to where people can see us for who we are. Exactly. And it's coming from a real place because it's coming from us. For sure. And we never had that opportunity before. So for sure. I just took what he said and harnessed it because it's a real thing. It is. Yeah. And yeah. that's what he tells me all the time yeah. as well. And and I was I wanted to do that. Like I said, it's you know, I always say my platform um is black excellence and nigga shit on mm -hmm, the one. Because mm -hmm. you know, we not so stiff and staunch to where we can't mm -hmm. you know, we get hood and we talk yeah. about hood shit and we have yeah. fun. But but also you know, I mean, representation, you know, a balanced representation mm -hmm. of us as a culture, because we mm -hmm. got enough of the bullshit, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that was important to me. Yeah. Hey, see, every time, because I'm this person, I'll go through Instagram or whatever, and when I scroll through, I don't really listen all the time to what's being, you know, said or shown, mm -hmm. but I'll go straight to the comments, and mm -hmm. I'll start reading, and you, your audience, they're quick to comment and say stuff, and you going back and forth, and I'm what? like, okay, <laughs> you have the engagement yeah. down pat, I'm yeah. gonna give you all that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I try to, you know, even, especially on YouTube, you know, I get a probably, and I'm sure y'all do too, y'all experience this, you get like 99% approval rating and people yeah. liking your shit. Mm -hmm. But you know, you get them weirdos in there too, mm -hmm. you know. And and one thing about content and podcasting is, you know, you can have, you know, a million people see and hear the same thing but come away with a whole different perspective and understanding right. of what was said, you know. So um, yeah, I'll be on there, you know, sometime I'll troll them because I'm a big troll. Mm. You know? <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm a huge troll. Really? I, man, so you listen. respond when they say all sorts sometime, of stuff? Sometimes, depending on what day you catch me on. <laughs> you might catch me on the right day and I'll go there with you. You know, really? I'll, go, I'll go to your YouTube and go to your Instagram and come back and be like, fuck is you talking about? Oh, wow. You fat. You know, no, I just see where you posted where your girl left you. Uh -huh. yeah, sometimes I give them everything they looking for. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Give them everything they look about, wow. but then most times, you know, I'll I'll take the high road and just if they say something crass, I'll just be like, yeah, thanks for tapping in. Right, but it depends on the day though. I can be a cheerleader for foolishness when mm. I want to. <laughs> so I saw where you posted once. Um, you were behind the camera. You were doing some filming, like a movie. Yes. Um, what is that movie, and when is it coming out? Oh yeah, I did a movie called um, Dating COVID. Uh, we wow. did we did that in Atlanta, um, and it uh, co-stars as myself, Jasmine Lewis, mm -hmm. um, um, Travis Cure uh, from The Oval, Jasmine Lewis from Barbershop uh, mm -hmm. franchise, um, uh, Lisa Wu, right? Yeah, Lisa Wu, um, uh, Rashawn Ali. So you know, it's a, it's a How black. How did you get that role? Um, <sighs> you know, I, man, I know a little bit of everybody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm kind of the you know, I, I hate to say that and, and, and put it out there like that, but you know, I'm kind of the the the. So when the when the movies don't have the budget to pay uh, Amari Hardwick and Michael Jai White, they come get me. <laughs> you the backup. So, yeah, so I, I'm, I'm the I'm the you know I'm the low budget you know. <laughs> I hate to say that for myself, but you understand. No, that's but, all. Um, don't worry. Every for every role you get, your price get a little bit high. Yeah, for sure, for sure, but um, you know I. I've acted for many for many years. Mm -hmm. People don't know that, but um, yeah, it, it, it's a it's a 
uh, I would say it's a romantic comedy. Mm. Uh, well, no, it's a dramedy, really. But um, I, I play the toxic ex-husband really well. You know? Really? Yeah, yeah. I, Coming I got, there I mad got other and all of that? Oh, yeah. I'm toxic. I'm abusive. I'm, mm. I'm controlling. I'm all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I, I play that well. Is there any <laughs> genre of movies that you have not um, mastered or cannot do? Because um, can you do the, I know you, can you do the comedy very I can. well? Yeah, I can. can. Action, of course. Of course. Um, drama. Yeah. I done the drama. I cried in this movie. I cried, cried. on cue. Yeah, he been cue. crying a lot lately. He was pretty. What did you think show. about? Yeah. Huh? What did you think about to get yourself to cry? I can tell you that. Um, it's funny because Fifty did the same thing on Howard Stern, mm. and it, he's correct. So I took acting classes years ago. My acting coach was Larry B. Scott. Okay. Okay. He's the black dude that was in Revenge of the Nerds. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and so. Um, what he teaches is like the, 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 what they call the Meisner technique. And some people say it's antiquated in Hollywood, but basically where you learn to catalog your emotions. So instead of being in the, you're in the moment, right? But you already kind of have in your mind what's going to trigger what, you know what I'm saying? And then the words are the words, right? So it was easy. Like I, I, I knew the, how to open up that door. I thought about my mother, mm. right? You know, I was a mama's boy. Mm. My mother died mm. in 2010. So uh, that's always something that's there, but as time goes on, you learn how to suppress it. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I knew what, what was going, what we were shooting, even though it had nothing to do with that, right? But that's how I opened the door to them emotions. You but know do they saying? ever ask, mm -hmm. like, okay, a scene comes up and mm -hmm. you, you don't just need to shed one tear, you need to boo hoo cry. Oh, yeah. Do they say that? No, and do you no, have no, they, no, no. I mean, you know, you. Because I'm wondering. You, no, do you I see mean, some you, films where they, they they might shed one tear, and in my mind, I'm like, oh, somebody gave them an eye drop. Oh no, no. It depends on the the. It depends on the um. It depends on the moment and mm -hmm. what's being filmed. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, because when you're doing a movie, it's it's real. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So you know how you gonna cry. I mean, if if he say something that hurts your feelings, you know, you as a couple, I mean, you may drop a tear or two. But you ain't no, going to just... get mad first and then drop a tear okay. later on. But, but yeah, but you're not going <laughs> to... Look at him. He's like, hold up. You're supposed you to move. Man, you supposed to just cry and go on. Uh -uh. <laughs> I ain't trying to start no shit. <laughs> so, so, you know, it ain't, you ain't going to just boo-hoo. So it depends on what it calls for. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I seen your daughter. She came on, man. I was yeah. jealous again. You know, whenever something happened in other people's lives and I'm looking at my life, I get a little jealous. I'm like, dang, why my daughter couldn't come on Compar staff? And comparison is the thief of joy, man. man. I was happy for you, yeah, but I'm yeah, like, yeah. what? But my daughters do so much other yeah. stuff. But still, like that was a, mm -hmm. that was amazing to see that she she's mm -hmm. taking the time out to you know invest time in what you're doing, man. That's not easy, them. man. For sure. That's not easy, bro. Um, well, my daughter's 30, so my daughter grown My son, woman. 29, he yeah, helped man. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and you know, that was something that she, she wanted to do. She's, she's uh, you know, an entrepreneur. She's getting off into the media space. Okay. Um, you know, and my daughter, my daughter, you know, I had my daughter when I was 16. Mm -hmm. So my daughter was around when I signed yeah. a No Limit. And mm -hmm. so my daughter grew up in the studios with wow. me. Wow. You know what I mean? That's so hard. when I would write my raps as a teenager, she was right there. You know, she would be in the studio with me. So she's raised on gangster rap, you know, <laughs> so. Um, um, but yeah, you know, she wanted to come on and I'll be honest with you when she came on, cause I mean, she, you know, she's a woman now. Yeah. So even though I have her co-hosting, but then I did an episode where I'm interviewing her, wow. you know? And so we're talking about her upbringing, her, her, um, you know, just her life and her becoming, did you, you know, find out stuff that you didn't know? Well, um, not necessarily that, but I was, I was. Um, surprised and proud just because it's like, damn, she got her own mind. Yeah. She has, she's her own. And some things that she, you know, that, that she is about and she does is not necessarily how she was raised, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, but she's our own person, you know. Mm -hmm. But then her recount of, of things, me raising her, I was like, damn, I did that? Yeah, that's I what I was that? like. I was like, you know, cause, you because, you know. her perception of it. Well, yeah. I mean, I had her as a kid. Like I told her, I used to tell her, look, I had you when I was a kid. What the fuck you want from me? I did the mm. best I could. You know what I'm saying? So I exposed her to a lot. You know what I mean? I exposed her to street shit. Um, I exposed all of that. I used to have her with me. You know what I mean? Did so. you ever ask? Because one thing I've seen happen to some people, <clears throat> you raised her when you were younger, and mm -hmm. then you had others while you were older, right? Yeah. And... The older one sometimes can get jealous because the younger one almost got the better parts of you because you're more mature, yeah. you know how to handle things differently, yeah. or you're more financially able, so yeah. they get a lot of more stuff than yeah. 
you know, the older mm, one at a young age. And I don't stuff know like that, that that was her experience. Um, you know, I don't think she wanted to. You know, she used to didn't want to watch her her brother and sister. She would, but mm-hmm. you know, she didn't have um, no choice. Yeah, she didn't have a choice. <laughs> you're the eldest. That's what you're supposed to do. Um, well, they all get mad about that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, I was the only child, so I didn't have to deal with that <laughs> shit. But um, you know, I think that she, uh, yeah, you know, um, she loved her brother and sister. Mm-hmm. They tight, you know, and they all is thirty, twenty two, and eighteen. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. they tight. I think. I mean, I'm gonna be real with you, man. Uh, it's just. <clears throat> To get him to come in and, and like, I, I enjoy my son. He helped, he helped with the PR stuff. He get contact people. <coughs> He'll call this person, call that person. He'll mm-hmm. reach out, but, mm-hmm. and he enjoys the show. Mm-hmm. He get a little jealous or, or a little, he'll get a little, he look at other platforms mm-hmm. like, oh, they yeah. did this or they not doing that. Yeah. So I know you really take it to heart. So yeah. that, that means something to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? The kids to come in mm-hmm. like now and just help us. That's hard, man. Man, parenting is, you listen, you know, we, we don't have a, a book. You know, mm. it's, it's, it's the easiest thing to mess up. You know what I'm saying? You can't. Nobody does it perfectly. Um, and especially, you know, now, you know what I mean? It's a whole different generation. You know, the way we were raised doesn't necessarily translate to a world that, it, you know, the way we was raised, that world doesn't exist anymore. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, so it's it's different. These millennials and these Generation Zs and, and all of that, like, they different, you know? I- I, I see you posting uh, Jay Prince a lot late, yeah, lately now for sure. because uh, you know y'all go so mm-hmm. far back and yeah. we respect him on you know everything that he's, mm-hmm. his legacy is big like just mm-hmm. the 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 way that mm-hmm. things are spinning out for him on the internet right now yeah it's crazy to me bro it is it I, is I, I'll speak on it in that way you know meaning mm-hmm. I, I don't know the situation don't care to know it it's just mm-hmm. our people for some reason like I was telling even Silk like. It's the way we put ourselves out there, man. A lot yeah. of times, man, you can't take it back, bro. That's real. You can't take it back. Yeah, you know, man, shout out to old man. You know, I got a lot of love for uh, Jay Prince. You know, that's my OG. Yeah. You know, he been on my show. Yeah, I've seen that's, that. That's family. Um, but, um, you know, I think that it's, in my opinion, you know, and I'm, I'm going to say the truth or just what I think. I think that, uh, you know, um, like you said, it's a murky situation. I think Jay is trying to find, in my opinion, I think he's trying to find his footing with this social media shit. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he speaks very direct and very curt. And I think that he doesn't understand like how we understand, especially because we're in media, um, about controlling a narrative mm-hmm. and understanding sound bites and mm-hmm. understanding people changing the context mm-hmm. and misunderstanding the context of what you're saying because he he's from the old school, so mm-hmm. he's gonna say exactly what he means, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know. And I think some of it gets lost in in context. Now, as a as it um, pertains to the million dollars worth of game, interview, mm-hmm. you know, shout out to Gillian Wallow. Um, I believe, you know, OG may have misspoke a bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know what he was trying to say, and he may have been well within his right, especially if you feel that there's a threat on him and his family. Any man's going to stand up for that. But I don't believe that just that little part probably wasn't the moment and the time, you know, because at the end of because because you already fighting against this narrative that, you know, you guys are bullies. You know what I mean? And that somehow or another you had something to do with that. Okay. Cool. We, you know, the facts came out. You just proved that. Those of us who knew, I already knew that but wasn't knew, yeah, the case. Yeah. But um, so you're trying to, you know, you're authoring your own narrative. But I think that that one little statement toward Offset may have kind of undid it, and yeah. it kind of, to some degree, backs up what everybody's saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, I don't think this is a disreputable moment for him, but I just think that, you know, uh, you know, like I seen a, a clip on TikTok today. This is how people fuck up the narrative. And this is what you're saying. That clip thing is something else. But no, I seen another clip where this is the irresponsibility of social media, where somebody captioned that little part when he was like, when Jay said, uh, yeah, you know, uh, we never been attacked like that. And, you know, uh, dude, you know, with a weapon and some and somebody captioned it. Look at what he said about takeoff. Wow, he wasn't talking about that. But they can take and try but to spin can, the narrative. You see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's really uh, you know, it's murky, like you yeah. just said. It's, and if you don't take the time to do the research to really find the full exactly. clip to Go figure it out, exactly. So how you mitigate that? How you how you how you circumvent having to deal with all of that? Is you know, I probably just wouldn't say anything. Get off the internet. You know what I'm like, saying? I'm gonna be honest with you. Like like, it's certain things. 
you can't take back, man. That's it, real. It's like you you get on here and then they gonna clip it. That clip they it. clip it. They, they can clip oh, it and take man. it wherever they want right. to take it. That's why on here I try to stay as neutral as possible. Absolutely. And I try to stay as positive as I can. Exactly. Even though some things you know I don't agree with. If yeah. I don't agree with it and it don't come in my way, I don't really speak right. on it. You know. Right. I just seen that because certain things vibrate the the whole internet when it comes out, and that was one of those things that just shocked the Especially whole moment. Especially controversy, you it know, goes anything crazy, that's negative man. and controversy, then the you know people people are going to push that. You know what I mean? And and it, it it drives the algorithm. But you know, listen, I don't. You know, I'm gonna say necessarily I don't have a dog in the fight. Being you know, I'm no limit. You know, I'm yeah. my own entity. Yeah. That's kind of their business. But, yeah. And 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 again, you know, I, I have love for QC. I have love for Migos, and it was a loss and takeoff yeah, yeah, and all definitely. that. But you know, it's a tragedy uh, all the way around. But you know, I just hope they figure it out, and I Man. hope that you know what I think will go. Um, and this is the idea because I get ideas all the time. And mm-hmm. tell me if if this will go or not. Someone should start a blog to expose. Um, not only podcasts, but other bloggers or whoever mm-hmm. posting these clips mm-hmm. that are shortcut just mm-hmm. to give a certain narrative and actually put like the full length, you know, clip yeah. beside it. Fact and be like, every time. Yeah, yeah, and like do a voiceover at the yeah. end and That's whatever. A and be show like, right hey, da 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 da. That's an impossible show. <laughs> but, yeah. but, but it would, a lot of people would flock to it because yeah. it'd be talking about, you know, truth yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So, and be, it'll be showing a lot of people up. Yeah, and yeah. I think I think ultimately, if people just really just go back to the basics of minding their business, man, that's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Though. Like, because even back in the days, you had grandma or somebody out there be looking over their glasses, be like, "What that boy doing out there?" Yeah, that's true. People but, is nosy. But yeah, but I, and I know, you know, but I, I don't know, man. I'm different. I'm from the old school, you know. Mm-hmm. So where, you know, like even with trolls and and people that get, you know, social media has given people egos and given people courage that they normally wouldn't have and they do not have in real mm. life. That's right. 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 People will say shit, you know what I'm saying, from a safe place and just disrespect you. Because you don't know where they yeah, are. Yeah, because you don't know where they are. You know, and the chances of y'all running into each other is not mm. impossible, but it could be <laughs> definitely slight. not impossible. You know, yeah, yeah. definitely, <laughs> definitely not impossible, you know. So, I, you know, social media is a gift and a curse. You know, you yeah. have to be very careful with it. You, you, I want to change the subject go for ahead, a second. Go ahead, go ahead. Um, okay, because you're married, right? Mm-hmm. And um, I posted something the other day, and it's a, it's a quote that I saw somewhere, and I thought that it was like such an ingenious, you know, statement. Mm-hmm. And it said, if, um, mm-hmm. you know how to get married, you have to get a married license. Mm-hmm. If we had to take a test to get a marriage license like you do for a driver's license, mm-hmm. what do you think marriage would look like right now? What do you think the entity, like people, would they be getting married or would mm-hmm. they not? Would they fail? Would they, you know, would we have more long-term marriages because of that? If you had to take a test? Take a test. Um, <clears throat> like I you do know. for as a driver's I license. Don't, I don't, I can't, I, I don't know because People change and things change and circumstances change. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, relationships, I I think naturally relationships take on different forms as time goes on. You know what I mean? Uh, Because, you know, if y'all been together 20 years, Mm -hmm. right? You know, what you may need and what he may have required 20 years ago may be different now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, but it'd be basic that. questions, of course. But then it's just that a lot of people they jump into marriage not thinking about certain yeah. things, yeah. and you know, just to be able to ask certain questions right. and have them think about it before right. they actually step into this with maybe the wrong or right person or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. It may, you know, it, it might divert some people um, or get them more prepared for. It. I don't know because I mean, I think it, marriage, y'all, y'all know, you know, marriage work because you want it to you work. Want it to work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it's sacrificing it. And yeah. all type of stuff. Yeah. Well, it's really something where if God's not in mind, yeah. it don't work. That's real. But and people don't know that. People don't think that. They think that, oh, I see you, we fall in love, we yeah. live happily ever no. after. No. Yeah. I can I, let me do <laughs> hey, first, don't, don't start no shit. Don't start no shit. No, it's not it's not it's, it's work. Not, it's, I'm not lying, it it's work. How well, much work is it? It's yeah. a lot of work. Man. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I don't know, man, because I've been in a relationship a long time, 30 years. So That's you figure, a long time. Um, what I always say, bro, is I think you say what you mean. 
You know what I mean? And you always lead with grace, mercy, and love. I, you know? I agree. Um, even if you are upset. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially um, when you're upset. Especially when you're upset. <laughs> exactly. I think that, um, I, I, I believe that when both people are, are they understand what they're trying to convey, but they when, when both people are mutually saying, you know what? No, I know how I feel, but how do you feel? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that person saying, no, 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 no. I know how I feel. How do you feel? Because you're going to take care of each other. Right. You know what I mean? It can't, it has to be reciprocation. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, you know, people tend to, you know, fight each other instead of, you know, putting their backs against each other and fighting the problem. You, you say, know, I, I. I know that I, yeah. when you leave with I, then yeah. you can start to, you know, mm -hmm. care. That's mm -hmm. showing you, you know, you taking you taking yourself out of the you. See, when you yeah. use you, right. it's bad. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. <clears throat> That's real. That's I, real. I can and, solve and, the and, issues. And then accountability. I think that, uh, you know, like me and my old lady, we would say, hey, listen, you want to be right or you want to be happy? Mm -hmm. You know, fuck being right. You know what I'm be saying? Happy. Yeah, let's be, be happy. happy. Yeah, you know, I okay, agree. you got it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? You got it. That's not like me. Yeah, but that can cause another <laughs> argument. Because you're like, oh, don't just say you got it just because you're trying to end but this. No, let, but let, take let, the win. Let, let's, no, take but the it's win. not really a win. Take that win. To me, but it's not really a win. Because, you know, for us ladies, we want you to understand where we're coming from. And we, we understand and we gave Most it to you. Most of the times you don't. You'd be like, okay, whatever. You're like, okay. But yeah, I mean, if win. there needs to be a correction, like, if there needs to be a correction in behavior or something, it's like, man, I don't like when you do this. I don't like when you say that. You make me feel like this. I think just give an effort. All you can do is do the best that you can. I mm. think when you're trying and you, you know, a person feels heard, you know, and, and even if they're not understood, they feel heard, you know, um, effort. That's it. Just put the effort. I got to ask you about all these interviews. You did Snoop Dogg. You did uh -huh. Boz. You did, you know, thank you for sending me <coughs> Boz. I mean, Boz, Big Boz was the dopest interview, man. Yeah, man. The way he be answering That's the questions, brother. the way he be, man, his demeanor, yeah. all that, man. I'm loving yeah. everything on that. Yeah. <laughs> Boz is like Yoda, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but like, you've done everybody that, yeah. that, I, that I see Everybody on the show. Yeah. Who do you want to do next? Um, man, that's a good question, bro. Um, I got Ice T coming again. He's spinning what? the block. Yeah, I got him spinning the block. Um, Jason, when? I got Jason Lee. Actually, I don't know when this air, but next week. Um, y'all, y'all, y'all gonna do it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Ice uh, is the homie. He wanted to, he wanted to come I in. Called my call, and I was like, I wanted to do it while I was out here, but my guy yeah. told me, no, nah, we going, we going to New York. Yeah. He, don't Let's try do to mess there. with it. Yeah. Don't try uh -huh. to mess with it in LA. Uh -huh. Do we flying in? We gonna, it's gonna be dope. Yeah. Let me do it my way. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm gonna yeah. pull up then. Yeah. My boy got him out there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, Ice T. He, um, he hit me. Uh, you know, he's getting his Hollywood uh, Star Walk of Fame. When? Um, seventeenth. Uh, of February. Wow, oh, you gonna wow. be out yeah. there? Oh yeah, for sure. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. But you know, me and Ice T, we have rapport. That's my guy. You uh -huh. know, he he pick up the phone when I call and likewise. So, um, I got a uh, Jason Lee. You know, coming to the show. That's hard. I have a uh, Adam Twenty Two from No Jumper. You man, know what I mean. I tried to get him. He yeah. didn't yeah, answer me back. Adam Twenty Two. Yeah. I tried. I know already. Yeah. I, there's some things happen. I'm down south, baby. Yeah, yeah. Don't forget about me. <laughs> Let him know when you yeah. talk to him. Say, hey, yeah. man, you a good dude, man. Yeah. Oh, Don't, for sure. You know what I'm for saying? sure. Yeah. Adam's cool, man. And and, you know, I, I even want to get um, Glad on the show. You know, you old Glad. Yeah, I call him Glad. <laughs> I know, like, you know, Crunchy Black called him Glad. I call him Glad. I told him that the other day. I was like, we need to get Glad on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I know, I know, I know. Glad gets um, you know, he he gets flack. I, I personally like his show. He's good at what he does. You know what yeah, I mean? Get, I can't um, be mad at him. I mean, I can't be mad at him. Um, I think I do get a little. Area about different things that mm -hmm. have what happened over the years, mm -hmm. but everybody's evolving, man. Big yeah. core, everybody can't that's be real. put in the box of you can't never get out. No, that's true, that's true. And I think that, but but then it's like a catch 22 because me being on the other side, right? Um, you know, uh, I we do podcasting, ours is a conversation, mm -hmm. so he's kind of more of a journalistic investigation type thing, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. So he's gonna ask you the uncomfortable questions mm -hmm, and the hard mm -hmm, shit, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. That's his job. Now, it's your job to understand how to respond. You know, that's on you, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So that's just like if you ask me and say, hey, Court, man, you ever killed a nigga you ever moved? <laughs> it's my job to say, what? <laughs> What, what what do you say these things for? No, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. You got to know how to get around the issue. To, you know what I'm saying? That's real. I'm not, I'm not gonna come up in here. Yeah, bro. You know, let me tell you, E, bro. So it was this one nigga, right? Like, that's and if you, you do that, like, I, 
I got some now, part- listen, let me say that. I got yeah. some partners that mm-hmm. they still street, right? Yeah. yeah. And they be asking, can I come on the podcast? Yeah. And I be like, why would you want to come on the exactly. podcast? You exactly. have to check them. Yeah. And then they'll tell you, man, you right. Me and my boy be laughing about that. The other side of it is is the integrity. Now, if I did say that, if I <clears throat> if I did say that and do those things, if I did say and do those things, it would be up to you to say, well, you know what? I'm not going to do him like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Views. I'm going to protect him from himself because yeah. I've done it too. You have you know? to, you have to, man. You know, yeah. you, you got to look out, man. That's the thing. Like, like people, it's, you can, you can do better. You don't have to do everything mm-hmm. to try to get cloud or views and all that. It's that's more right. about integrity too. We exactly. got, mm-hmm. that's why me and my wife sit here because that's why court don't mind sending somebody else. Big court going to say, man, go talk to them because you know Absolutely. it's going to be some guidelines And I there. always say family. I always, people ask me all the time when I send, they say, well, man, what you think? But I said the same thing. He said, hey, what you want? I said, man, they family. They wow. good. Wow. Thank family. you so same much, thing man. With mm-hmm. I said, they family. Go That's ahead. all. Yeah. That's all you like. I, I say that all the time. Man, you thank know, you so you much. You know what? Bro. The funny thing when you talk about Big Boss, like one of my favorite <clears throat> parts in his interview was when he was talking about Master P and when he said that they went into that, um, that the, con- the meeting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And did yeah. you see that part? I, I love yeah. that part when he was talking about mm. how he respected him because of what he said. What he back stood to, for. Yeah. What he stood for and yeah. then he walked out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Did he say that on your show? <clears throat> yeah, he did. I mean, I know the story. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But but the thing about it with Boz, <clears throat> like as Silk said, you know, Boz is, he is, he's, he's, he yeah, Boz is like I say, he's like Yoda, bro. Like yeah. he, he's very wise, wise, you know, and he understands um a lot about life. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. He gonna give it to you, you mm. know. And if he you know, if, if you fuck up, he gonna tell you, boy. Gonna tell you. That's on you. You know wow. you fucked up. You know, wow. you, you know how he talk. You yeah. fucked oh, up. He's serious about it yeah, too. That's on you. He ain't gonna really show no expression no. toward no. one way to the left to the He's gonna keep it, but then <laughs> You know, one time, let me tell you a story about Boz. I remember one time, <clears throat> i tell you how God worked, and just when you have a brotherhood and you're connected. Um, this was maybe a year ago, you know. And, you know, in this podcasting game, you know, I'm sure y'all had y'all days where you may be a little discouraged and just kind of like, damn, are we doing the right thing? Are we, uh, you know, are we wasting mm-hmm. our time? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think I was having one of those moments. I hadn't talked to any, you know, it would just be today, right? He called me out the clear blue, mm. you know, and he just was like, bro, yeah, I just want to tell you, like, man, I, I'm proud of what you're doing. And he was wow. like, man, just stay the course. You know, I promise you, he I hadn't talked to him. Out he just blue. randomly called me and told me that, you wow. know, and how was did like, that, how did that, how did you like, man? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was like, yeah, it, you know, that was like a message from God, you know what right. I'm saying? Mm. And uh, and I, I was doing some other stuff um, with a TV show I was shopping. He was like, man, you good at what you're doing. You know, you're coming into your own in this space. You know, he was like, man, don't trip on the money. Just yeah. just do, just keep doing the work. Mm. But amazing. I needed to hear it at that at that moment, you know. And I promise you, it was random. It was very random. It was random. He called me out the clear blue. Man, so you, you like I said, Snoop going to be coming. I got to get Snoop on Boss Talk. Yeah, yeah. I got to get Master P on Boss yeah. Talk. Yeah. Eventually, yeah, for sure, it's coming because I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna keep working, for sure, and I'm gonna keep on connecting the dots, yeah. Yeah. and then I'm gonna keep calling you and blowing yeah. your phone. Oh, for up. sure, but you know I answer when you call. You always you know answer, man. You, know, you gonna answer? And when I don't it's know text. if it's either one of y'all. You don't know because she be one, on my phone. <laughs> one time she called, right? The first time she called, I was in the gym. <laughs> I got nervous. What you, you know what I mean? Because I thought she was finna tell me, oh, something happened what? to you or something. Yeah, because nah. she was like, hey, big court. And I was like, yeah, hey. You know, because I, I didn't know what was going on. You yeah. know what I mean? I was like, damn. So, um, but you, you know what? I want to flip the script a little bit. Oh, uh, we're not doing want, this. Hold on, hold on. I want to flip the script a little bit. I want to ask y'all some questions. Okay, I want to okay, ask you a question. Because you're good at who, it. Who, who was some of the, who is one of y'all favorite guests y'all that had on this show? You first. I like KL. I'm a KL, KL. fan. Like, okay, KLC. it don't even matter about no. We don't have to get no views. Yeah, it ain't about views. Yeah, it's just about the fact that when he come on, it's like it's just a lot of respect and yeah. it's a grown mm-hmm. man conversation, and you can tell he's sincere. Yes, his heart is pure. Yeah, for and sure. That's what I, I care yeah. about. KLC's I mean, a good dude. Yeah. That's what that that's <clears throat> so I would probably and I didn't need him three. Sometime, sometime mm-hmm. it might come out. I so, said my my favorite my favorite interview I think was with DLC. 
Oh, DOC. Shout yeah. out to DOC. DOC. Yeah, that's all right there. Yeah, that's all I want to get DOC, bro. Yeah. I rem- I'll tell him. But yeah, I remember when Funky Enough came out, mm-hmm. bro. You see my boy, I put that on. Yeah. Ooh, I love it, man. Yeah, that whole album. Now, who 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 was the worst interview? And somebody who you just was like, I they'll worst? never come back to this Can y'all say it? I ain't had no worst interview. Yeah, I ain't had no worst. You know how they answer the question. I ain't had no worst interview. Because everybody have a story that's going to touch somebody. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? I know, so I I know hers, happened. but I'm not I think my it. I think my worst interview is the person who did not turn up. That do hurt when you got when somebody don't show Schedule up, and don't, come, call. Or whatever, don't call, oh, yeah, no, yeah, that, that's that, my worst that, interview. Yeah. No call, no show. That's yeah. a big one, man. So yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Man, thank you, man. Yeah, for sure. So so man, I'm gonna say, man, um, whenever we in town, man, we're gonna definitely connect with you. You gotta come to Dallas. We gotta see Absolutely. you. Absolutely. And for um sure. man, for we sure. appreciate you coming on the show. What else you want to say to Big Corporal? We appreciate y'all having me, man. That we love you and you family. We love you and you family. family. too, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. You know, man, when y'all call, y'all know that I answer. You know, I get back and Mm y'all answer my call. But like you said, man, we got to stick together as content creators. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it goes deeper than that. Yeah. You know, if y'all need anything my way. I already you know, know. The next thing I'm going to call you for, you and your wife got to come on my oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah. We got to fly you y'all down. down. You know what? She She's starting a podcast. Uh, she's getting her doctor degree. You wow. Know, and, and she's a, a RN, like a nurse practitioner. Mm-hmm. Um, so her and her homegirl are starting a podcast called okay. Two Bad Nurses. She doing the home podcast and she do couples. So you want to talk about yeah. couples? That's why okay. I need for both of Okay, Come yeah. On. So she's got a podcast, Two Bad Nurses, where they talk about the whole medical field. Thing. That's okay. all that. awesome. That's you know, my wife is much more uh, intelligent than I am. <laughs> Way smarter well, than man. me. Stop playing, Way man. Way smarter than me. That's hard. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, check it, man. It's been another great segment. We love you. Be cool. Likewise, love y'all too, man. Another great segment of Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Where the bosses talk. And we out.